Hey, Titan students and parents, John Denno, principal in the Pomo High School. And I uh, wanted to take some time to help provide uh, maybe a little further clarification regarding our return to in-person instruction. Um, this is a challenging time. And uh, I think that we've all adapted and become comfortable with the current model. And now it's time for us to progress a little bit further. Um, we all may have differing um, positions on this decision and this movement forward. Um, and there's an answer somewhere in the middle. And uh, I don't anticipate that any of us are gonna be completely happy, but I wanna provide you with the most information, the best information possible to help you make the most informed decision that's in your and your students' best interest. So again, we're looking at um, a return for the second semester in January. And regardless of choice, you know, our commitment, as we said from the beginning of the year, is that we want your students to feel safe, to feel good about themselves and to learn something. So some considerations um, in, in terms of making this decision as a survey has been distributed. You know, there are some things that we do know. Uh, we know that uh, once again, there will be differences in our preferences. Uh, there will be choice, uh, the choice of uh, returning to an hybrid AM, PM, um, half day in-person session to continue in distance learning or to transfer to Pacific View Academy for full independent studies. Um, I mentioned the, the hybrid model, again, the return in January. Regardless of model, if your student um, desires to be a student athlete, athletics will continue to be an opportunity for, for each of them. Um, and they, it's also very important to acknowledge this decision at this time as a commitment for the entire semester. There are some things that we don't know, and we are awaiting negotiations on uh, the completion of those negotiations with uh, the CMR Unified Teachers Association, as well as the school district. And that is how distance learning will be delivered and the schedule of distance learning. Um, again, that could be concurrent with in-person or uh, distance loan learning only classes, and that we're still awaiting. But there are also some things that we are kind of anticipating. I think this is important to acknowledge. One is master schedule will change. It's a natural break in the school year uh, at the semester, and you, we need to anticipate there will be changes to our master schedule. Potentially, students could have new instructors. Students could also potentially have different classes, and some courses may no longer be available, and that is really dependent upon uh, the outcome of negoti negotiations as well as uh, the completion of the surveys to help us better ensure that we can support our students and being in the classes they desire and need um, and according to the schedule they desire. So each of the, the choices that you have provide, uh, again, uh, may meet your needs in various ways. The Pacific View Academy, again, is a great long-term solution if you desire independent studies or distance learning as a long-term solution. Some of the benefits and some of the ways that it will help uh, support you know, safety is there is a flexible schedule. Um, if you or your child has health concerns, it's another way to minimize their exposure. Um, there is no need for transportation, however, for a, a month or a weekly meeting that might be accomplished virtually. And if there's anxiety about a return to in-person, this might be a model for you. Some ways that uh, our social emotional well-being are feeling good is again that weekly meeting with an individual teacher that is helping supporting helping to support all subject areas, and the students' ability to work at their own pace. Clearly, they have to make progress, but it's a little more individualized. And finally, the learning. Right, there's a single learning platform called Edgenuity, um, so it it is a convenient for students to learn that one platform. Uh, become very proficient with that and accessing and completing the, the assigned work. And then there's also a possibility for acceleration for those students who may have that motivation. Distance learning that would be run through Napomo High School. Again, this would be continue until the end of the school year. In terms of uh, students being safe, uh, some of our students have uh, child supervision, child care responsibilities in addition to completing their, their courses and that might be a consideration for you. Again, those health concerns, if there's an underlying health issue, uh, maintaining distance learning, um, may, this may be beneficial. Again, there'd be no need for transportation 
And once again, if there's any anxiety about that return to in-person instruction, that might be a consideration. If students are currently experiencing success in distance learning, okay, again, that might be a consideration. If your child is struggling in distance learning, I'd encourage you to um, maybe consider other alternatives. There's also a certain degree of familiarity because we've been doing it for uh, over or just over 25% of the year already. So um, and not a whole lot of change um, uh, for the student experience. And then learning something. Again, it's a familiar learning platform. We've been utilizing Google Classroom and other related uh, resources. There's an established routine, which is nice, differs from uh, Pacific View Academy where there's more autonomy, right? More independence. And there may be fewer social distractions uh, continuing to work in distance learning. And then finally, the in-person learning. Um, students, students' safety will be addressed by ensuring that we have social distancing for both P, uh, students and their peers, as well as staff. All staff will be required and students will be required to be masked. Uh, that's following all of the CDC and, and the county guidance. Um, in order to achieve that social distance, we will have smaller class sizes and there will be routine, routine disinfecting uh, of all surfaces. Um, again, another measure that we're adhering to all the guidance to ensure a safe return for students who choose in person. Um, we believe students will feel good about themselves. They'll be able to see their peers. They'll be able to see staff in person. There will be an increase into the structure of their daily routine, and some of them may benefit from having um, their teacher physically present. In terms of learning something, um, again, there's going to be more immediate interaction with teachers. Uh, instead of an email or waiting for a question to be uh, observed in a chat or having to take turns in a distance learning environment, uh, simply raising the hand or even body language is a great uh, means of communication and teachers can pick up on that to provide some support. Tech support may be more accessible for students that are having some challenges with their technology and their access. Um, we refer to that again with that consistent connectivity uh, with school provided uh, Wi-Fi access. And for many students, they may benefit from an environment that um, creates a greater uh, on-task behavior, completion of the work that's being assigned in the time that it's being assigned. So I wanted to also provide some images for what it might look like to be in-person instruction or on campus for in-person instruction. Uh, the picture on the left shows desks that are labeled A and B uh, so that the first class showing up, for example, Monday's schedule will, will continue with periods one, three, and five in the AM. And for the PM students, it will be one, three, and five as well. And so in between those sessions, we'll be cleaning, but we don't have to clean between each and every one because we can alternate desks to ensure that students have a clean environment that they are entering into. The picture on the right shows what it may look like in terms of the distance between students. These desks are situated to achieve six feet of social distance. And the next period coming in would sit in the desks that are vacant in this picture then we would come through to do the disinfecting for the third class of the morning or afternoon. This is a different classroom configuration where the teacher has tables instead of a student desk. You can see they're all labeled A and B, and the picture on the right again has how we might distribute those students or how we will distribute those students to achieve the six feet of social distance. Again, there um, in the document that I'm sharing, you'll find um, the plan for return to in-person instruction. And there's uh, hyperlinks in there. So if you have specific questions, I encourage you to, to read through it. Um, if you want to read the entire document, I think that's important. However, if you are curious about specific components of it, uh, click on the hyperlink and uh, you can narrow it down to a page or two that would provide you with greater guidance. Um, we do not have all the answers for you at this point in time. We are going to be very reliant upon the completion of the survey. We do need 100% of families to complete the survey uh, because we cannot map out schedules or develop schedules for either distance learning students or in-person learning students until we know um, what the student preference is. So um, if you do have questions, uh, we'll certainly do our best to provide answers for you. You can utilize this QR code or visit the uh, short, shortened URL there. It'll take you to a Google form, submit your question, 
and um, we'll provide a, a shared document out that shares some of the questions that have been asked and some of the responses that we're capable of providing at this time. Again, I know this is a challenging time. I know this is a hard decision to make for some. Um, I know that it's not the perfect solution for each of our individual cases, uh, but I'm confident that we can be successful in supporting your student regardless of the choice that you make as a family. And I hope that this provides a little more information for you to make the best decision regarding the opportunities that you're afforded. All right, we uh, appreciate you taking the time and uh, we look forward to supporting you and your students uh, throughout the rest of this fall semester and in the semester ahead. And as always, Titan Pride.